Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this uh, curtain panel window or curtain panel uh, with this with a little code. Okay, so let's do it. So first, first we need to create a generic model face based. So here, generic model face based, and OK. And in this, um, create a model text. So click on model text. I'll just use uh, F, G, maybe, and OK, and place it on this. And uh, first, I'm going to set the steps, maybe 5 mil depths, and edit type. So this is the size of this one. So for now, I'll just use 100 mil. And now I'll just align, align, lock, align, and lock. So now click on this uh, model text, model text, and then uh, create one, the first parameter. So for the text, so I'll call it code text, OK, and OK. And another one will be the material if we want um, to. Yeah, so I'll just call it code material. Okay, so depths will be fine. I don't want to change it. Uh, everything's fine. Text size. If you want to make it a parameter, you can create this one as well. But I'll just leave it. Leave it at uh, 100 mil. Okay, so now this family is finished. So now let's create a curtain panel. So go to curtain wall panel. Oh, sorry, not really well. Curtain wall panel. Okay, open. And then load this. Oh, hell. Let's create the curtain panel first. You can either create the this panel from the floor plan, or create extrusion from a floor plan, or you can also do it on the uh, elevation so it's the same so here I'm going to do it in the elevation so create extrusion uh, rectangle one two and then lock and finish it for now I go to floor plan I'm going to create a, another two reference plans so the R dimension and equal and another dimension so this will be the thickness of this curtain panel so I'll call it uh, thickness and OK. So I'll just drag this lock onto the reference plan and down. So also select this panel, create a parameter. So for the material, so for the, I'll call it um, maybe panel material and OK and OK. So also it's a good option to set the subcategory so for this one I'll just use um, maybe panel maybe I'll just use get panel so mm -hmm. yeah that's it and uh, I'll just uh, change the thickness of this I'll just change 10 so okay so now let's go back to this code and load this into the panel so because it's a face based I'll just place it here and also I'll place it on the other side okay so for this one I'll just need to click on this one and uh, rotate rotate just use your space bar can rotate your text so now this one's good and then go to elevation to create uh, some reference plan so horizontal one to vertical one and for the vertical one, I'll just create two dimension here and then create a parameter. I'll call it I'll code offset. Okay, so and for the vertical or uh, horizontal one, same, I'll just use that offset as well. So I go to family type, I'll change it to 150. Apply, okay. So now I can align AL and lock this family. Okay, so this one as well. We can see this FG on this side because we are 
currently on the uh, wireframe. If I change it to hidden line, you won't see it. Okay, FG. Yep. Um, sorry, not FG. <laughs> WF, WF, wireframe, hidden line, HL. So wireframe, hidden line. Okay, so now click on this, uh, or actually this one as well as this one. So these two, and I'll just link this. Uh, where is my oh here, here edit type so we just need to link these uh, parameters so I'll just create another one C O D E text so and uh, type is fine and okay so for the also the material I'll call it code material okay okay and uh, okay so now uh, we need to um, we need to these are all good uh, what's next what's next what's next uh, okay yes I want to select these two because I want to set the visibility and the graphic override if you click on this one so um, I only want to see these two code in median file. I don't want to see them uh, in uh, course detail. So I'll uncheck this course and also uh, uncheck the plan. So we won't see the very thin, um, very thin line on in your floor plan. So only these two are checked and even maybe not left and right so we only see them in this fr front and back okay so okay and uh, and uh, okay so let's just create let's create a new project okay and load this into the project and have a test so create a wa curtain wall i'll just use the store front okay so and then go back Filter panel. I'll load this into the project and go to 3D view. So now these are system panel, right? And tab select one of that and change it to curtain family six. This one. Okay. So now you can see this is a curtain panel. Oh, actually, if, if you want to, you can change it to, to a window. So, and okay, so let's do it. So, edit family. So, under family types, not, no, 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 not family types, family category. So, this one, okay, so family category and parameters, change it to windows and okay. So, now load this back into the project and uh, overwrite, and then it becomes a window. So this panel will sh uh, show in your window schedule. So if you want to, and also um, this looks like this. See this line. The line here is too. Um, I think I I don't want to see it's that uh, quite. That's quite. Um, oh, what should I say? Dominant or yeah, maybe I'll just want to have some very light gray color to do that so we can go edit family and uh, actually because this is a generic model this this model text this face based generic model it's a generic model it's not window so what we need to do is we need to create a subcategory under the generic model category so let's let's edit this uh, code family so now you can see this is a generic model generic model right and we just go to manage object style and here got these are subcategory okay so this is a category and this is subcategory so what we need to do is go here modify subcategories and create a new I'll call it code okay and then I'll change the so one one is fine I'll change this color to gray 
and solid that's fine and okay and then click on make sure you click on the model text and change the subcategory of this change it to code so now it becomes gray and load this into the uh, curtain panel family okay and then load it into your project so now the code will become light gray so that's how you change the, uh, the the color of the line without you know any right click overriding okay so so you can use subcategory to change that and also um, and uh, actually this uh, I'll just create a uh, change of name so for now it's a family six I'll the type name I'll change the type name to fix glazing FG okay so and uh, what if we create a new type so for now uh, let's do in this family let's create a new type it's uh, maybe awning okay so what we're going to do is go to ele uh, elevation so we just need to create some uh, swing lines so go annotate symbolic line so here let's have a look there's no elevation swing line so that's fine we just need to go to manage object style new subcategory so elevation swing elevation swing and okay so here um, you can change this swing line type to I'll just leave it for now because we can change it in the project okay so okay and I'll just draw something like this and also I'm going to select these two line and uh, edit visible oh no sorry not this one I'll just create a visibility parameter I'll call it aw lines and types is okay and okay so now I'll load this one into the project okay and go to elevation have a look so yeah looks okay I just need to make sure this lines if I change the if I change the the width of this panel everything is going to be okay yep so it looks like it's okay um, then so as I said so in this project you can manage ob object style on the windows category so that's an elevation swing yep here so we can change the long type so for example I'll change to center oops wrong one uh, okay and uh, maybe it's because of the scale it's not showing let's have a look again object style windows elevation swing maybe this center apply oh, interesting oh sorry because I forgot I think I forgot I created I created the subcategory but I forgot to apply, uh, uh, assign the sub category to the line so let's go back to edit family sorry about that so yeah this is very common <laughs> uh, I, I did I make this all, uh, I make this mistake all the time so see here so it's still window projection so when I create so when you after you so let's have a look at object style it's gone because you if you don't use that it, it, it will just disappear so we just need to do it again elevation swing and okay so now we have this one and okay and uh, so for example if we are going to create a new one so you need to make sure here you are picking this one and if you have already created the lines just need to select them and change the category subcategory to elevation swing and now if I load back into the project and uh, you will see the line yeah so and then in the project you can you can change the line uh, type window 
elevation swing so we're going to change that to this center yeah okay so and where's my fixed glazing oh sorry because it's in cores and if you change the median you will see this code right this fg is on the other side so you won't see it here but if you change it to wireframe you will see it wf hidden long hl and uh, so, oh, of course, in FG, you, in fixed glazing, you don't want to see the awning, right? So, what we are going to do is edit type. Under this is FG type, so we just need to uncheck this awning line, apply, and OK. And then I'm going to create. So, for example, I'll use this one, change it to FG for now, and edit type, duplicate. I'll call it AW. And OK, so AW, I want to change the code, so I'll call it AW. So you can type in whatever you want, so warning. And uh, go here, check this warning line, so now you have the warning. OK, so edit type, so of course you don't want to type too much, too many letters. Yep, so now these two same family so we have two different type on the one family so yeah so you if you want to you can add more types to it so this is very very simple um, curtain panel so you can use this as for some uh, schematic design yeah once you and then because it you don't have any like uh, um, Framing anything, but yeah, just uh, to indicate that's the only window. Okay, so that's it. Uh, if you have any question, let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.